City of Las Vegas Community Rec Development Recommending Board. Do I need to do City Hall and Street and all that? March 11, 2014 at 2.15 p.m. in the afternoon. We will call this meeting to order. Do I do number two? Um, turn this over to staff. Item number two, announcement regarding the point of sale of the meeting law. Madam Clerk, are we in compliance? Yes, we are. Awesome. Right. We go. We have Chair McCoy. Present. Vice Chair Asselin. Present. Member Aker. Here. Member Arduno. Excused. Member Miller. Excused. Member Pappas. Here. Member Hartley. Excused. Member McGrath. Present. Member Jordan. Excused. Member Powell. Present. Member DeSalvo. Excused. And Member Thistleway. Excused. Thank you. You can call me. I'm sorry, Member Ewan. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Item number three, public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. If you wish to be heard, give your name for the record. The amount of discussion, as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed, may be limited. No comments? Okay. Number four, discussion for possible action regarding the scoring and recommended allocation of fiscal year 2014-15 to the housing opportunities for persons with AIDS. Hopwa. time would Vinda Pappas like to make your comment? I would. Thank you very much. Um, I just I just wanted to state that every applicant that's come before us has demonstrated a sincere need within our community, a true dedication to addressing that need, and demonstrated an ability to administer to that need. Our biggest challenge and our biggest heartbreak serving on this board is that we just don't have enough money. The City Council has identified the priorities that they see for the community Excuse me, and staff has worked hard to assist us in categorizing the applications so we can address those priorities. Those priorities will guide us in our decisions today. This is an emotional process, and our decisions will impact an untold number of lives, some in fundamental and life-changing ways. Please know that none of us on this board take that lightly. In an, uh, nope, that's it for me right now. Okay. Just wanted to get that out there. Thank you. <coughs> Anybody else? <coughs> okay. I'll turn it back over to staff. So what you've got is there are five agencies that apply for HAPA. You can see by the scores that combine the staff scores along with the, uh, the your scores. You have uh, Women's Development Center at, at the top with 93.90. AFAN is next with 93.13. Golden Rainbow at 91.86. Help of Southern Nevada at 71.29. And <coughs> Community Counseling bottom was 66 points. When you are considering making your funding recommendations, as we discussed uh, prior to the presentation, we are trying to follow a housing first model. And so the agencies that uh, offer housing services along with support services to uh, support that are the agencies that you want to consider first and then the agencies that just offer supportive services second. And that's actually kind of how they fleshed out your scoring. So it's open for you guys to make your suggestions. What I will do for you is if you at some point want to put 
percentages or flavor things, we can do that. But I'm going to round them up to those zeros because those extra dollars, as we, as we talked about in orientation, really add up for you. Okay. So it may take you just a sec, but we'll get there. Okay, I'm going to open the floor. Members, do we have any suggestions to start with? Devinder Pappas. Uh, Devinder Pappas, just to get the ball rolling, I would like to suggest that we fund the Women's Development Center in the amount of $115,000. I'd like to suggest that we fund AFAN Homeless Prevention Services in the amount of $700,000. And I'd like to suggest we fund Golden Rainbow Living with AIDS Housing in the amount of $90,000. Now, of the amount remaining, these last two agencies, they scored significantly lower than everybody else. So again, this is just to get the ball rolling. I'd like to suggest, that's good, Sean, thank you. I'd like to suggest for help of Southern Nevada, when you're, Perfect. I'd like to suggest for help of Southern Nevada, Sean, can you multiply the amount remaining we have by turning their score? So multiply that 137 to 533 times their score, 71.29, and turn that into a percentage. So I'd like to suggest that we fund that agency in the amount of uh, Ninety-seven thousand. Is that eighty-seven or ninety-seven thousand six hundred dollars? That's fine. And then let's fund. Uh, the forty thousand. That's my that's my starting salvo, guys. Take it away. Mm -hmm. My comment uh, when I scored these things it came up to me the uh, Daryl, say your name. Uh, Daryl Ewan, member. Uh, I would have put, I would have fully funded the first three and given whatever was left to the other. So I would, do I would move the 700000 to 750 But you want to use round numbers. So I was, I was fine with 115 and uh, 117 and then, and then 750 the 90000 was fine with the, uh, and then and divide what's left. And there's the way uh, within the, Okay. So now we're over fifty nine thousand. Um, Member McCoy. I, I mean I'm I'm kinda okay with that, but I would take um, the, you already moved it around to make it the minus. Well help is now below fifty thousand so we can I, I would take um, give help the fifty thousand dollars and whatever is left, then make it to a fan. Mm. Or better yet, no, I would like to make it women's development. Mm. Would you? I, I meant like no, I meant take from a fan then. Okay. I'm sorry, that's what I meant. Take from a fan. Divinder Pappas, and I think the reason why is not penalizing, it, you're, the reason you're saying take it from AFAN is because they've, they've requested the large amount of money, right? The largest amount, so that's why you're looking at that? Mm -hmm. oh. okay. That works for me. Are the members in agreement? Absolutely. Member McGrath? Mm -hmm. Thomas McGrath, pack. I uh, say we proceed with the vote. Prior to, yeah. prior to calling for the question, let the record so noted. Okay. Eight members? Yes. So we have eight board members in uh, attendance, so a, any unanimous vote would be eight members, four. Okay. okay. So, Devinder Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we close discussion and vote on the slate. I second it. Devinder Pappas, I make oh, the vote. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the discussion. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. There's so. a whole speech to this that y'all didn't give me. Like. Just, just ask for a vote. Yeah. Oh, okay, all good. All in favor. Then I will call for a vote. All in yeah. favor? Say aye. 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 aye.
All in agreement? Yes. Then we pass with unanimous vote. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now I'm good. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to the city, or that we, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to the city council that we fund Women's Development Center HAPWA Affordable Services in the amount of $115,000. Second. Tom? Second. It has been moved and second. Um, members, do we vote? Shall we vote? All in favor? Say aye. 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 It's unanimous. Devinder Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we fund AFAN Homeless Prevention Services in the amount of $737,533. Thomas McGrath, I second. <laughs> Board members, um, we vote on funding AFAN in the amount of $737,533. All in favor? Aye. 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 The vote's unanimous. Devinder Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council we fund Golden Rainbow Living with AIDS Housing in the amount of $90,000. Thomas McGrath, second. It is motioned and second. Board members, are you in agreement? How do you vote? Aye. 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 All in favor? Aye. Okay. Everybody agreed. Uh, Devinder Pappas, I make a motion that we recommend to City Council we fund Help of Southern Nevada Food Vouchers in the amount of $50,000. Thomas McGrath, second. Here's motion and second. Board members, do you vote? How do you vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Aye. So moved. Devinder Pappas, I make a motion that we recommend to the City Council we fund community counseling, HIV supportive services in the amount of $50,000. Thomas McGrath, second. It is motion and second. Board members, how do you vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 It is unanimous. Uh, I make a motion that we forward the slate as presented to the City Council for their meeting on what's the date? April 2nd. For the for the Hopwa housing, I never get this right. For the Hopwa uh, housing opportunity for persons with AIDS. Ms. McGraw, second. That has been motioned and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Discussion for possible action regarding the scoring and recommended allocation for fiscal year 2014-15 to the Emergency Solutions Grant, ESG. first group of 11 and 
five and divided them up into three pots of money. One, five hard to house clients for $48,818, which includes some housing money and some of the case management money. We divided the other part up for six clients, which is $60,182. And then the hard to house is one pot of $45,197. Non -hard house. Right, non hard house. I'm sorry. Thank you. By doing it in this manner, you won't have to try to give one agency two clients and one agency nine clients. This makes it a little easier for us to um, do contracts because we'll be able to have hard numbers. This is what we give you the money for, this is what we expect you to do. You cannot overfund someone in this category. So you couldn't say, um, give all of it to Salvation Army because it didn't ask for all the funds. Neither could you do that with Catholic Charities or Nevada Community Associates because no one asked for the whole part of money. Okay. So that's why we came up with what we did. How were these entities scored? Did Harold, you were a member? How were these entities, how did they Divinder Pappas, let me ask a question of Tara while she's, because you did this too, right? Mm -hmm. So let me ask a question of you while she's looking that up. So what you're proposing is that, well, I'm going to, I'm just, um, Bob's Charity. Bob's Charity has asked for $100,000. What you're proposing is if we want to fund five, five clients with Bob's Charity, then we would propose to give Bob's Charity $48,818? Correct. Okay. Now, now this makes sense to me. I just had my light bulb moment. Thank you so much. Sorry. That's okay. My light bulb broke. <laughs> so, Ms. Tara, just to her Pappas, while she's doing that, can you scroll back over and show us what the pool of money available is one more time now that I understand? a little bit better. I didn't bring my hard copy of this with me. I'm so sorry. Okay. So for rapid rehousing total, it's 154197 However, that amount is broken out into two categories. Hard to house. Non-hard to house and hard to house. And okay. hard to house has $109,000 and non-hard to house has $45,197. I just want to remind everybody that um, the definition of part of the house we're taking from, from the uh, Federal uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development, their definition for chronics. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, we have a huge problem with uh, the chronic population, um, particularly Donor, Formaster, and Maine. Um, so we have a real need uh, to make sure that we address the need of that area. So the definition of part of the house will be following the uh, HUD definition of chronics. Thank you very much. Just want to let you know what it is. Do you know what it is? HUD's definition of chronics. Yeah. Uh, Member McCoy, Tara, mm -hmm. will you, um, for our own edification, break down mm -hmm. chronic, HUD's definition of chronic? I don't know it memorized. I mean, there's several components to that. I don't you know just give me a general. Head, but typically, it is someone who has lived on the streets um, for a number of years and uh, have a disabling condition. But some, let me give you a definition of someone Dis that may not be as hard to house okay. or not a chronic. Um, maybe someone that um, is enters into homelessness and um, haven't been in homelessness long. Um, really easy, doesn't have a lot of significant barriers, easy to transition them from the streets Back to. into permanent housing and stability. Whereas someone with, uh, that may be um,
turned a chronic person, they have a lot of barriers. They've been on the streets for a number of, number of years. They may have uh, several disabling conditions, uh, but there is a formal definition. I just don't know it okay. verbatim. And the disabilities are mental and physical? Correct. Okay. And or physical. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Shabbos your staff. We did not have a way to score each component, if you will. So overall, your agencies, uh, Salvation Army received 91 points. Catholic Charities received 82.71 points. West Care received 84.13 points. And uh, Nevada Community Associates scored 68.96 points. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I don't have West Care up here at the top of this form is because they did not ask for these funds. Okay. They're down here where for the funds they did ask for. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, um, Member McGrath? Thomas McGrath, question of staff. What is the minimum, do, are we to abide by minimum funding for these as well? And if so, what is it? There is no minimum funding. Okay. Um, Member DeVinder uh, Pastor, we, Pastor? As, uh, Before you go to DeVinder, uh, as staff, the only thing we would like you to think about is our number up here on these first two categories because they're housing specific. Shelter operations, which helps them pay for a piece of the shelter to help the number of people that come in the door. Okay. Divinder Pappas? So, Divinder Pappas, so as long as we fund the top category, a minimum of that 48818, then we'll be honoring your requirement of the minimum of five households, right? You could, or it's um, the cost per client is $8,400 mm -hmm. a year for this particular category. And the uh, case management for each client is thirteen sixty three sixty four. And I'm not sure how we'll divide it out. Maybe that 15000 somebody's going to get a dollar more than someone else. So if you take the average cost uh, per client, it's $9,764. That's over all entities? That's over, that's just for this particular um, pot of funds. What we did was the average cost per client uh, in talking with our agencies is $700 a month. And because we expect them to be housed for a year, up to a year, we are allowed, I'm sorry, to house them for up to one year with these funds, that's how we came up with that average. So that was my question. Are all the agencies charging the same amount or are they no. more, more efficient than others? It just depends on where they find a unit. Because these people go out into the community and find a unit. Oh, okay. And then these funds are used to help pay for their rent. Mm -hmm. uh, staff, um, I also want to add that it depends on the needs of the client. Each um, case plan is customized to each individual household. So one household may come in and only require two or three months of assistance, whereas another household may come in and need up to 12 months. So that $700 is a monthly average, and then it'll vary just depending upon the needs of the, at the assessment at intake for the different households. Okay, Devinder Pappas. Okay, Devinder Pappas, I'm, I'm almost ready to, to throw something out there for y'all. But I have a question, one more question for staff. Um, the way this spreadsheet is broken up, you've got Salvation Army Catholic Charities <laughs> and Nevada Community Associations. They are the only three that are applying for the rapid rehousing money. Correct. And that's the amount that they're applying for, applying for for that category. When we go further down, and you've got Salvation Army, West Care, Salvation Army is the only one require asking for homeless prevention. That is correct. Mm -hmm. And West Care, Salvation Army, Catholic Charities, those are the amounts they're applying for for shelter operations. Correct. Yes, that is correct. Okay. You guys want me to get started? Sure. So if, if it helps you, I mean, you don't have to do it this way. If it helps you, it, it's $9,764 per year per client is how we're going to fund. Mm -hmm. the that, that assumes that all of the entities do it as efficiently. And our, and our, yes. grade, our grading sort of reflects that the, we don't think yeah. that that's true. That's Forty-eight. And, and that's okay. I'm just saying if you want to go outside of how we broke out the five and the six. In other words, if you wanted to go three and 
It's the number at the bottom. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
know it um, decreases the amount to $7,833 per client and 1250 for the case management. Mm -hmm. I'd like to modify my suggestion. Can you take me over to the right so I can see the scores again and see my numbers? Let me fill some that. I'd just like to suggest that we fund Sal Devinder Pappas. We'd like to fund Salvation Army for nine clients and fund Catholic Charities for three clients. And again, this is based on acknowledging the score that the board worked very hard on after the presentations and reviewing the applications. I'm sorry, Divinder Pathos, bless you. How's that? Good. I don't need to do a formal suggestion for that, do I? No. <laughs> Is there a minimum on that? No. Remember, McCoy, what was the total? What was the total available for that one again? Seventy-five. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, seventy-five thousand. Okay. Okay, Divinder Pappas. I'd like to suggest that you, that we fund, this is just the opening suggestion, that we fund Salvation Army for 91% of their request. Let's just see what number we come up with. If you take that and then just do multiply, click on the cell and put a percentage sign after it, it works. Ah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. That's a little much. So 
going to equal that and then click on the other cell. And then just put a percentage, or just put a percentage sign after it. You can just click on the cell and put a percentage sign after it. Based on that, what we awarded. Yes, just so you know that. Correct. <sighs> Can you remove the the award for Catholic Charities from there for me, please? So we're still over by ten thousand fifty. Okay, I'd like to suggest that we fund Salvation Army in the amount of 63000 I'd like to recommend that we fund West Care in the amount of um, 10000 I was going to say ten, but 12 works. No, do, let's do 10 for them. Since West Care and Catholic Charities are so close, maybe... Uh, give maybe them eight. Give West Care eight. Eight and four. Let's, 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 I, I'd like to suggest we fund West Care in the amount of 8,000 mm -hmm. and Catholic Charities in the amount of 4,000. If I may, from a staff perspective, yeah. the reason we went to $15,000 for the CDBG Public Service Program was because it's just as much to administer a $2,000 That's why we asked you for a minimum. Well, we didn't consider that we would get something under okay. that. Remember, remember Jordan? Jordan. Um, Mass Jets, Catholic Charities 15, West Care 15, remaining Salvation Army. Okay. Member McGrath? Thomas McGrath. Um, it's just something I'm, I'm going to throw out there is that um, yeah, I, I understand what we're doing in terms of our scoring with the 91, 84.13, and 82.71, but I disagree with initially that's how we're uh, slicing up you know, the funds. And I, I think that certainly works, but I would just like to know, question everybody here. I know that West Care and Catholic Charities, even though I, I cannot vote on Catholic Charities, they are both very deserving as well. They didn't ask for as much money, but. Okay, Member McCoy, um, and, and I respect that position, but um, which ones are the ones that you needed to abstain from? Um, it, it was just Catholic Charities, just, just one, but it, it's, uh, I, I'm just, questioning the other two charities here too because I, I think that on the basis of the scores maybe we should look beyond that in awarding and giving up funds for the other two. They're, they're all excellent charities. Don't get me wrong. It's just, that's my point. Can I just say something? I'm not, I'm not sure what Ma you're wait, one second. Going. Let her go wait, ahead. Go ahead. No, she had some. Oh, Pam. Pam, Pam. Um, my thought was to do 10,000 for West Care because there's really no other place for I mean West Care takes care of the children that flow from child Correct. Sure. and um, to uh, give Salvation Army 35 and give Catholic Charities 30 just because I know the work that they do they all do good work oh, yeah. sorry. But, didn't mean to speak yes that's okay um, Member Jordan was next and then Devinda Pappas and then me Remember, Powell, you said 30 on Catholic Charities? Yeah. 30. And like 35 for Salvation Army and 10 for West Care. Uh, it, was a, it was a quick go back okay. for uh, member Tom. I didn't understand what he was, I didn't quite understand what you were saying in regards to other you know, charities. Your concerns were to evaluate the other two, even though we had the scores. Well, no, 
I, no, I, I think as uh, members here, uh, we can certainly speak up, but I just initially disagreed with giving up the money for the sport, and, and just because the Salvation Army asked for considerably more uh, than the other two charities did. That's all. So don't, don't rely totally on the score. Correct. Yeah, that, 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 that was my point, in knowing the charities, and knowing the good work they do in our community. Okay, Member McCoy, um, and I think that's a very good point, um, Member McGrath. Um, the only slight issue I might have with it is that on the prior programs, we were okay with using that process. So to, to now say that we shouldn't go on scoring or maybe we should kind of take a look at it, then it takes us back to the beginning on the ones that we had already agreed upon, and we did those predominantly funding based on the scoring. Yeah. So discussion to better practice I also I, I do Tom you've listened to me talk about this for years I feel that the scoring is very very important and I also feel like an agency should not necessarily and this is going to come into question when we do the next group but we should not necessarily penalize an organization for asking for a lot of money because they have a large a large organization and they do a lot of services um, I'm not sure that that's something we should necessarily penalize them for. And I feel that in this case, and again, we're just talking about this one, <laughs> funding Catholic charities which receive the lowest score of the three, just under the amount of Salvation Army, it, it doesn't feel equitable. And funding Catholic charities for almost their entire request, when Westcare that, that scored higher is getting half of their request, again, it doesn't seem equitable. Um, I feel like I can defend, if I had to stand in front of the city council and they said, why? I feel like I could defend if we used it based on the scores, but um, this is why at the beginning I was talking about how emotional this is. This is this is a very emotional thing and we are dealing with people's lives and I absolutely realize that, but we need to, to me, by going by the numbers and going by our scores that we've already worked so hard on, it helps It helps take some of the personal out of it. It makes it a little bit easier for me to, to work with these numbers. Point taken. Member Jordan? Uh, <clears throat> this information for, for the whole uh, whole table, in regards to, I do I understand what uh, my colleague is saying. I'm looking also that the scores, of course, were to be utilized as a tool. Mm -hmm. And I think as board members, when we have the availability to go inside these places, uh, these organizations, I'm sorry, or we have individuals that have the insight to these, in, to these places, give us more of a defense when we do go in front of the council um, mm -hmm. in awarding such such amounts. Mm -hmm. So I'm just throwing it out there, not to say either or, but just to say this, I look at the scores as being just a tool, but of course in defending, we have somebody on the board that has insight to these organizations, that would make us even stronger to know that we have the tool as a scoring, we also have the insight, and this is how we came up with this amount. Mm -hmm. So, because we have some people maybe on the board that just put those scores in and don't even know where Westcare is at. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. just, uh, yeah, so I, agree. I agree. So, um, with that being said, um, Member McCoy, I would like to um, raise Westcare back up to $15,000. And I would like to take. Um, Catholic Charities back to the ten thousand dollars, and the difference to Salvation Army. <coughs> Discussion. So they all offer something very unique in dealing with our issue, um, and, and they're all very, just the money, the water, more, they're all very important issues. 
So I just wanted to, wanted to put that out there. Discussion board members? Devinda Pappas. Devinda Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we close discussion. Second motion, we're majority. It's been motioned and second. Um, shall we go to a vote? Devinda Pappas? All in favor? All in favor? I'm sorry. Aye. 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 When we go to city council, we're going to fund each agency in a lump sum. Mm -hmm. We're not going to break each one down because if something happens later in the year, maybe we can switch them. Yeah. So okay. let me give me a second so I can add up what we're proposing to. Uh, Thank you. I just, <coughs> as I said at the beginning, this is this is very emotional, and for me, I tend to get too emotional. And that's why I focused so much on the scores, is it takes my emotions out of it, and it lets me just, I mean, some of the the, the, the presentations that we heard this round, the presentations we hear every round, are so passionate and so heartfelt, and 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 it's hard, it's hard, it's hard to say that someone's not going to get funding when there's so many, so many people out there in so many different places that are in need. going to recommend um, to staff when we get ready to do our next RFP process that as part of our RFP process we request agencies to maybe consider applying for the whole amount because this it made it very challenging to do all the funding decisions when agencies didn't ask for the full amount we kind of got to break the card mm -hmm. so um, I think as we move forward through this process I'm looking and thinking about ways to improve the next part of the process because it'll be here before we know it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So if the board has any recommendations on um, the next RP process, Sean and I are definitely um, open to accepting any suggestions you have. Demeter Pappas, you're new, so you don't know that we're not shy about that. So <laughs> we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should be telling the people to request more than they really want. Mm -hmm. I think that's a kind of productive. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the government work. Cost for clients. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Cost for clients. Really, you don't want to exasperate the problem. Member McGrath. Thomas McGrath, just on another issue real quick. I would like the, uh, uh, when we're back again uh, next year, is that staff notes be shared with us? I'm sorry. Just throwing it out there. 
I'm sorry, that what? I, I didn't hear that. Staff notes. Staff notes. Oh, okay. with all of us. Okay. Yeah. Did Papas years ago, uh, back when we were still in the binder, in the world of binders, infinite paper, um, oh. staff was able to share their notes as they went through the application, oh. and that was so helpful for us as reviewers. Uh, because they really see the inside of the process and they're the ones that are doing the day-to-day -day administration over the 365 days. Um, so having, the, having those notes available for us just to reference as we're going through and making our decisions is, is critical, or not critical, but incredibly helpful. Oh, then I like that. I would like that. I've never seen that. Did you do the 45,000 that we're funding? We did not. 45,000 that we're funding to, for case management, to Salvation Army. So the Salvation Army got, okay, let me get this straight, Sean, what your staff is doing, like for myself. Of the $109,000 at the top, Salvation Army got 81750 Correct. And then you gave them the five hard, the five non-hard to house clients as well. Yeah. You still have no. $45,197. No, I thought that 45000 for some reason, I thought that 45000 was included in everything else. No. Who applied for that? All three. All oh, three. so that was supposed to be included in the 109? That's why we had, you know. No, it was separate. outside. That's why we broke it out into three pots. There was. I did not include those. I just was looking at the 109,000. I thought you said that only that one charity asked for money. No, that was down here. That was the 45,000. And what is that? Do you have an amount? This is As Member Aslan. Do you have an amount per client on the non hard to house? 2,100? So there's 16 households? Where is that? 16 households. Okay. Sixteen total. So Sixteen. Eleven here, and there's five. Only five households with this with this much money. So it comes up to 9039.4. I would like to suggest that we award three of the non-hard-to-house clients to Salvation Army and two of the non-hard-to-house clients to Catholic Charities. So we divide up with the forty-five thousand. So why don't you divide the? Well, no, it doesn't work like that because five thousand one hundred ninety-seven dollars is for case management, and forty thousand dollars is for wrap the house. So we in utilities. So we divide each of those numbers by five, right? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm.
three and two. Three and two. That's my suggestion. <laughs> You're the one who gave us the fancy fancy spreadsheet. You'll get none of us for that, John. So the council broke, broke it all out into these different yeah. categories. This is um, to explain the process. At the beginning of the year, HUD allocates uh, the city the ESG funds, and they tell us what their priorities are. The council the tells you. No, no, HUD. HUD. Okay. In the past three years, the cost of rehousing has been their number one priority. So what we have to do as staff is tell them at the beginning of the year how we think we're going to use those funds broken out into these categories. That's why the categories are like that, because we have to break it out and tell HUD that. And then at the end of the year, we have to give them a report card that says, here's what we said we were going to do, this is what we actually did. Staff, staff uh, person, Carl, and when we make those decisions, when we're looking at that, we use data. We use the gaps analysis. We use the homeless census count. We look at what other funding resources are available in the community for similar type services and activities. And so the decisions on what, you know, how to break this out is based on data, data and, and the need. I still think that if you just if we're working with 45,000, you just allocate 27,000 to one group and 18,000 to the other group instead of. I'm sorry. I thought you might not have to flip back and forth so much by handing back your hard copy. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm okay. Uh, I mean, we're trying to get exact numbers out of something you approximated to HUD. I'm just saying. No, we have to make this add up to 5,197 between the two groups. Because that's how much we allocate. We'll give 27,100. Ninety-seven dollars to one group and eighteen thousand to the other group. But that, that doesn't—it doesn't calc out. I can't back into that. I don't have any hard math to say they came up with this funds. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make sure you guys have something to back into when council goes. Why did they do X, Y, Z? I can show that we divided the amount by the number of clients. Because we can't find a quarter of a client. Correct. Well, we could, but. <laughs> You're doing We've got uh, 5197 here, and then. And the other number should just be 10. It should just be 8,000. Salvation Army is for three, and uh, Catholic Charities is for two.
Just tell us where, what number we're using for our motions. Why'd you do that? Salvation Army for it's not right either. So. Get the forty five thousand. Down a little bit. There you go. Right about Check our total. Okay. Woo hoo, good job. There you go. There you go. Did we already have a closed discussion? Yes. No. We have not. No, no, that she did as well. We did. Yeah, she, she made the motion. Yeah, we closed it. Okay. Okay, we'll do it again. Sure I did, don't mind, please. please. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion that we close discussion. Thomas McGrath, I second. It's been motioned and second that the discussions be closed. Are we ready for vote? Okay. All in favor? Aye. It's unanimous. All right, Demeter Pappas. I would like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund Catholic Charities for ESG in the amount of $55,330. Uh, A.J. Powell, I'd like to second that motion. There's a motion and second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Tommy, you have to abstain. Oh, abstain. It's almost unanimous except for the abstain. Mr. Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund Salvation Army in the amount of $203,867. Second. It's been motioned and carried. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund West Care in the amount of $15,000. Thomas McGrath, second. It's been motioned and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Do we know? Staff of the Red Cross Budget Board has recommended $274,197 in emergency solutions grant. Thank you. Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we forward the slate as presented to the City Council. Second. There's been motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Yes. not on the lease, but I got the information from the uh, HOA and they confirmed it. You can call them. The other spreadsheet looked a lot different. Someone else wanted to have a calculator. No, the unit number is not on the lease. I think that you might need the lease just to show that you're a resident. But the, unit, but the, to but the uh, parking space number is not anywhere on the lease. It's never, it's never been anywhere. Now we're getting back down to the little ones. Twenty thousand. It, it, it shouldn't be. Um, let me call. Let me call the HOA and, uh, and double check that. Okay. What's your space number? Eleven. Of course they are. Okay. Let me call the HOA. I've got a couple more minutes on my break. Let me call the HOA and, uh, and find out for that. And I'm going to text you back, okay? Because I'm probably going to go back into my meeting, okay? AJ attended the variety day for the kids. And so Bob thought that was a conflict of interest for her to be able to discuss the agency. I didn't think it was a conflict. When I was like five. That's not a conflict. I know we had this session last year. Yeah. And she had to vote. She disclosed. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of disclosure, but not. And I would like so she could vote. Okay, yeah, but cool. when you disclose, just say it's not going to influence my decision. Right. Yeah. So what happened? What? Did you do? What? what variety? Sure. Oh no. Oh, oh you mean? <laughs> do you? How old were you? Like five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go and look at. You find my little face right there. And we're going to hold little it against tea. you for the rest of your life. Exactly. Because you thought I was older than I did. Oh, no. <laughs> Crazy. We got a lot of trouble. Oh, no. A lot of trouble. was a preschool reading. Is it still in the same location? It is, but they're moving it to um, Lorenzi. But when you went, it was in the same spot. In so fact, they would have had no grass. My daddy wouldn't have watered the grass over there. Because the boys' club was like right on the back lot. And he used to stand up there with the water hose and just water the yard every day. They had sprinklers, so he watered, you know, so kids had grass playing. It's a beautiful school. Uh huh. Been there forever. Yeah, with all the nuns and all that. Because they had the nuns. I forgot the, it was Francis, Father Francis. I don't know what kind of nuns they were. But it used to be called uh, Ninth Street. No. Uh, Divine Providence. That's what it used to be called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, the radio station is nice. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was some shit. The shepherds was going to give me some so I could get some new boots. That is isn't. Yeah, because every guy turned, so whatever. <laughs> Give me some of the damn post. Thank you. 
Sunday. I had a tire that had a lot of tappet jam and was brushing her all out. Yeah. And I found a tail spot. Well, she kept picking up her front hooves and kind of shaking a little bit. I'm like, that's what you're doing. What are you doing? <coughs> so I said, no, it's just probably ticklish right there. Yeah. Well, one of the big wheels came up and it kind of was going to kind of side up her. She was turned around to take exception to him being so close. Right. And she backed into the water bucket and scared herself. <laughs> but instead of jerking back and throwing back and throwing a major pitch, you know, she was excited. She stood like this for a second. Right. I don't know what just happened. Yeah. I just started laughing at her. Really? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Okay, spoke to the HOA, confirmed an 11 year She came right in. Um, she was the first to show up. Um, there is a letter in your file back at the office that, um, that states what your, what your unit number or what your space number is. So, what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to. You have a copy of the lease, right? Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to figure out if you want to go by and get it or do you want me to fax or email it? And then I'll get you the space number. Oh, that's cool. Space number is assigned to this unit. And then you have your lease and saying you're paying. That's one more. And then that will show you everything. Okay? okay. So, so, I'm sorry you have to wait until tomorrow, but. Um, you can just let me know what you want to do if you want to email it, fax it, or if you want to come by the office. That was like a perfect offer. Can't believe it. I'm not trying to hear it. I told you that. I told I don't know, but this is a It's like a hundred and thirty kids. Thank you. Don't take the whole thing. What do you do with it? Right. Right. You just smell. Is your cat? Smell. No, no, wait. Cat people. Oh, gosh. What do you do with the goat? Um, well, was that a citizen? I know, I remember that. And then, no. Where's their soda machine? Is it up on the third floor? You want the second floor? Where's the cafeteria? What did you do with the second one? Did you see the video on Facebook of the goats on the thing? Oh, they love that. I love that. My brother in law is a decoration. I want, I want, I would love to have goats. I would love to have goats. That's what she wants. Watch how they go through all that. Probably. Here. I would love to get shot. Right. Yeah, I would probably love to have goats. I think there's the citizens and most of the. Metro not that yeah, too bad. Yeah, I'm not all that and fascinated. Everybody. Yeah. everybody. Jeff comes in. He said no. I'm being North Angeles. Yeah. Uh, he has been reinstated. <laughs> for oh, they were for him. Uh, 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 like, what? Well, that's when they knew. And then uh -oh. the next week they knew he wasn't going to go for election. I've got a. Uh, I've got chickens. So I have three chickens. Yeah, set up. But yeah. I'm getting like I'm getting like forty five eggs a day. Yeah, I don't out of these chickens. Out of three? Oh, never mind. No. Sure, no. Pappas. I don't. I, I will. I do eat chicken, but I will not eat these chickens. Pappas. 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 You get that many eggs out of three chickens? Uh huh. A day. Every, a day. A day. How many? How many? What do you do with them? I'm getting. I'm getting three to five eggs a day. <laughs> Every day of the year. Every day. Wow. And, uh, so I have given, I am, uh, that's what I said. I was actually at the feed store yesterday mom's getting sorry. feed. And somebody had told me I was supposed to get two eggs out of every bird a day. So I asked the lady, I said, I'm only getting three to four a day. She said, that's a lot. I'm like, no, yeah, yeah, so, um, so, uh, I, I'm taking, I'm giving eggs to my boss at work. Every couple of days I leave a little gift bag of eggs for my neighbors. <laughs> just like, oh, that was just coming. Yeah. It's, 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 you guys are all that hard eggs. Of course. And, 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 hey, that's why. Yeah. The one, the one the citizen's plan. advisory board, the one that he does, the civil board, it's, it's not like You know what? I have this amazing pasta sauce recipe. It's so easy. One onion, you cut it in half and put it face down in a frying pan. You put uh, four tablespoons of butter and I think five fresh tomatoes. Put the lid on it, medium heat for 45 minutes. Don't touch it for 45 minutes. When it's done, throw the onion away, puree the rest. It's the most amazing sauce. And it's so easy, except you it's so hard not to stir it. It's so hard not to stir it. I have to set it and walk away. Do you see them? No, you just threw the whole thing in there. And if you can't get fresh tomatoes, you can do a big can of canned tomatoes, but fresh tomatoes are better. But the sauce is so good. Oh my God. Oh, you yeah. should have brought us some so we yeah, can sample it. Down. <laughs> yes, it's easy. It's on the record. <laughs> or, no, the recording is on the record. to go get a soda. So as soon as she walks back in, we have a quorum. We actually, we have a quorum. Okay. Yeah. It's a little stuck. Well, let's go. We've got to go first. Wait. Wait. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm at item number six. Just build up this pasta recipe. Yeah. 
going to take down. Madam Chair, you'll need to read item number six. Okay, item number six. Discussion for possible action. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, we no longer have quorum. We just lost our quorum. Oh, okay. so where'd you go? Here he is. Okay. Item number six, discussion for possible action regarding the scoring and recommended allocation for fiscal year 2014 through 15 to the Community Development Block Grant, CDBG Public Service. Madam Chair, Shumble staff, what we have for you today is a spreadsheet um, with the agencies that apply. Mm -hmm. As you know, uh, Merit Council have given you the board direction on a percentage rate. They would like to see funded for each of these categories. And so what I've done is I've given you a copy of the spreadsheet as well. In the first group, you have homeless. City Council would like to see 40 to 50 percent. And what I did was I gave you a minimum and a maximum on the uh, amounts. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you have $937,188 requested, and you have a maximum of $310,000. For the next category down is uh, seniors. You have 15 to 25 percent of the overall total, which gives you a minimum of $93,091 up to a maximum $155,152. You have the next group of special needs. A uh, city council would like to see 15 percent, up to 15 percent of that. <clears throat> so your maximum is $93,091. You have $165,000 requested. And I'm sorry, for seniors, you have $249,700 requested. And the last group is you. City Council would like to see 15 to 25%. So your minimum, $93,091, $155,152 max. And you have $526,000. Thank you, Mr. Pappas. Just to get the ball rolling, to get numbers thrown up there, what I've done is trying to fund based on a straight percentage of the amount requested based on their score does not work. We don't have enough money. So what I did was I, for almost all of them that I'm going to make proposals for, I did it off based off their first priority, based on the percentage of their score using their score as a percentage of their first priority. So, starting off with Women's Development Center, I would like to suggest that we fund them in the amount of $20,000. For Nevada Three program components, I would like to suggest that we fund them in the amount of $33,500. For Family Promise, I would like to suggest that we fund them in the amount of $25,500. For Safe House, I would like to suggest that we fund them in the amount of $28,692. For United States Veterans Initiative, I'd like to suggest that we fund them in the amount of $55,600. Uh, 
sorry, let's go back up to safe house and round that up to uh, 28,650. Round down to 28,650. Trying to give you round numbers, Sean. For St. Jude, I would like to suggest that we fund them in the amount of 53,200. For West Care, I would like to suggest that we fund them in the amount of 29,000. And for Salvation Army, um, this is this is in, in recognition of acknowledging what the point that Member McGrath made earlier. They did request such an incredibly large part of our pot um, that it would, it, unfortunately, it would be almost impossible to, 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 to do the same thing with them. So I'm suggest I based my recommendation on their second priority, and this is just for discussion only. So I would like to suggest that we fund Salvation Army in the amount of 37200 Based on salary. And I'm going to leave it there for now and let you guys play. So, Sean Bolster staff, if you decide to fund um, this particular group at the maximum, already passed the minimum. <coughs> yes, right now you have 28, two, $282,650. Right. But they said between 40, mm -hmm. they said between 40 and 50 percent, so mm -hmm. then we can carry over from there? Yes, with this so one, you can't spend, spend you, can't. you can't allocate more than the maximum mm -hmm. amount, but you Got can it. Play with the money if you want to try to go down to the next year. So let's do that. Okay. For discussion, um, does any of the board members have any suggestions or anything for discussion on this section right here on, on which he's recommending? And we can always come back to it. Sorry, didn't yeah. Strong Bolster staff, I would highly recommend not finalizing. I'll go back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Then we'll go down to the vendor pathos for the vendor seniors. <coughs> I would like to suggest that we fund the Jewish Federation of Las Vegas in the amount of $58,000. I'd like to recommend we fund Three Square in the amount of $37,000. Sorry, Sean. Thirty-seven thousand dollars. I'd like to suggest we fund Helping Hands of Vegas Valley, the amount of twenty-seven thousand six hundred. And I'd like to suggest that we fund Rebuilding Together Southern Nevada, in the amount of twenty-one thousand. special needs. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, Sean, I didn't, you ready? Mm -hmm. I didn't do the, the math on this one, so can you fund, propose that we fund 50, or that fund Blind Center by 95%? Do the same for family and child treatment for 80%. Maximum there, Sean. Is, oh, you don't put in the max for us. Oh, it's just fifty percent, so that's it. You you can only fund ninety-three thousand ninety-one dollars. Correct. And where are we at now? You're over. You're way over. Over oh, forty-four. Yes, it was about forty-four thousand dollars. And we have a fifteen thousand dollar minimum. Yep. Yes. 
then I'm to suggest we fund foundation for hospital we can't see 15,000. And then take the difference, take the 1409 from uh, family child treatment for Southern Nevada. Okay. Minus 1409. Minus 1409. Minus 1409. Thank you. And for youth, I would like to suggest that we do it already. Do you want to do your math at the top first? that we fund the Clark County Law Foundation in the amount of seven or eighteen thousand. I'd like to suggest that we fund Spread the Word Nevada in the amount of thirty thousand three hundred. I'd like to suggest that we fund Variety Early Learning Center in the amount of twenty five thousand seven hundred. Discovery Children's Museum in the amount of seventeen thousand eight hundred. Southern Nevada Public Television, the amount of 25,300. Boys and Girls Club of Southern Nevada, the amount of 20,800. And Las Vegas Natural History Museum, the amount of 16,000. And that's just, to, that's just to get everybody started. That's where I'm leaving it to get everybody started. <coughs> <coughs> Different practice, I would like to say that in the past, we have done scoring threshold cutoffs to help us in determining, to help us in determining perhaps who shouldn't be funded based on, based on scores. Um, for each one of these categories, I actually had a different scoring threshold because of the range of scores. So if you're interested, I can tell you what my suggested threshold is for these categories. I suggest for youth that the, that the cutoff threshold be eight, uh, I'm sorry, 82. For seniors that the cutoff threshold be 75. And for homeless that the cutoff threshold be 76. And that's just to get us started. Seniors, I had suggested that the threshold be uh, 75. Member McGrath. No. Okay. And for homeless, I had suggested the threshold be 76. This is just a suggestion. Sixty-five just to get on the chart. Minimum fifteen thousand award. Now we have the criteria of what the council wants, uh, percentage, and so forth. So am I right in saying that, staff? Discussion with the board, although we got the individual threshold, that's nice. However, and repeating myself, 65, just for them to get on the chart, we have a $15,000 
get as far as the minimum we can give them. Should we come up with some type of threshold in order to, <clears throat> I know we have to get the 15,000 regardless if it's on the chart. Never mind, just answer more questions. Um, Member Aslan, no you don't. No. You can eliminate whoever you want. Did uh, Sean Bolzer staff in the event, for example, if you stop discussion and you vote it on the youth as it sits right now, you would come through and justify why HB zero funded in it, right? Like you had in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, funds, score to go. But you're going to, mathematically, you're going to be zero funding agencies. I mean, there's just, sadly, there's no way around What's the total for youth? Uh, youth is 526338 and you can award between 93000 and $155,150. What have we allocated so far? $153,900. So, Devinder Pappas, if we follow my threshold recommendation, we would remove the Las Vegas Natural History Museum from that one. And then what does that do to our... So we're still above the minimum. What was that threshold for you? Yeah. I, yeah, I, 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 went, I just... It makes, it makes sense. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, that was just based on, uh, and it's, um, I was trying to look at scoring ranges and the amounts of monies that are requested. Anybody, if anybody has a suggestion on a different threshold, I am, I, there's no pride in ownership here at all. Um, well, the free. homeless, you have a threshold of 76, but you included some money for people below that, so we could, you could use that threshold and eliminate some more. Exactly. We have $5 to give away. <coughs> Why don't we do, do it the, the balancing item is special needs number two, family and child. We take the six at whatever we're off. We can't. We can only give them 93091 and we're at that number. No, no. Aren't we over by oh. 500? Okay. Uh, in this particular category, you allocated the minimum of 93091. Yeah, but I'm saying if we we're if but we, we only have this. ninety. We only have ninety if we only do the first two priorities, and we can't give. No, no, no. I'm just taking the, the six hundred dollars off of this thirty thousand dollars number. Oh no, we're over. We have five hundred six hundred okay. giveaway oh, really to add to ahead. somebody. Okay. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Five sixty-eight. Yeah. I think we should have a big party. <laughs> <laughs> Member Powell, I know that the one of the numbers we're looking at is eight eighty-two. I believe. Is that for youth? Which category are you looking uh, at? For youth. Mm -hmm. But the, I'm just having a really hard time, with, and, and I know that this is it's not supposed to be emotional, but while we're talking about youth, we're getting ready to cut out a natural history museum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So change the threshold. Well, let's change it to 80. <clears throat> okay. Let's change the threshold to 80. I mean, because you can, you can give less. Absolutely. To some of those places, sure. I'm just and not seeing how so you're going to cut up the only cultural place you have. So go for it. Okay. So we just made it 80. So then let's go readjust those numbers right. a little Lean bit. On. <laughs> um, 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 right now, Tom uh, Walter staff, we're at 137,900 for you, which is in the middle of your minimum and maximum. Have some play and play with these numbers. <coughs> So, Sean, uh, Devinder Pappas, for just to start us off, why don't you go ahead and do the percentage, do the, do the, by the 81% for those last three for us. Okay. And then we can go through and tweak numbers. Let's see how much we have left. Not much. But we're going to be over the We are, but then we can go through and adjust them. Mm -hmm. um, but this is just to give us 
for different for different purposes. For me, it's it's being able to, 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 to have people understand. They may not agree with it, but have the limits understand where we started it from. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. So right now we're over $57,015 over the maximum for this. But then we might have a carryover from someplace else. It, well, we yeah, still can't go over the 155. Yeah. So oh, we still true. can't go over the 155. Okay, true. Why did I hear 137 before? We're at 155 right category. now? Different okay. category. <laughs> okay. So, Sean, can you scroll down a little? Oh, sorry. <coughs> Can you, Devinder Stett, Devinder Pappas, can you change the Las Vegas Natural History Museum to 15,000, mm -hmm. Clark County Public Education Foundation to 15,000, and Rainbow Dreams Educational Foundation to 15,000? You see where we are? Looks like if you took 5,000 off of all of them, you would end up with 30,000 you could give. The Las Vegas Natural History Museum, 15, and Public Education Foundation, 15. Well, system. we should also, if we're assuming we're going by the threshold, then we would also need to fund Rainbow Dreams. Okay. Correct. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I went all the way down to 81.29. So, just, so you're suggesting that we. If you took, I just kind of did a fast math thing, and I just took 5,000 off of all of them up until I got to. That's where it's not to hit your museum. Unfortunately, we can't do that. What we okay. have to do is, Sean, let's take Clark County Foundation to 15,000. First one. The Clark County Law Foundation, one. the very first one. I'm going to start from the top. Okay. Thank you. 15,000. Let's take uh, the next one to 30, <coughs> or sorry, 25,300. Let's take the next one to 25,700, or 20,700. That's 20,700. 15,000. 20,300. One five eight zero zero. Let's see where we are. Closer. Close. Okay. Where are we at? So then take the eight hundred off. The three hundred off. Scroll up just a tiny bit. There you go, Sean. We need to get rid of nineteen hundred and eighty forty eight dollars. Let's take that off Southern Nevada Public Television. Thousands, just that route down there, everything down to thousands. Yeah, let's take it out, spread the word. Yeah. Well, the reason we want to, th again, we're looking at the scores. Spread okay, the word, and that's 86. Yeah. So if we're going to take that little bit off, to me, it makes more sense to take it off the lowest score at one. Okay, I agree. Okay. Southern. Okay. Okay. Jordan, we can't base everything off of No, we can't. No. Let's this is just, I mean. but this is just giving us starting place, the starting place to work from. Right. So, so we should start the place off, such as all the research we've done. done. How about we just take 300 off spread the word and 700 off variety? Yeah. Take the 300, take 300 off of that one and 700 off variety. You do 14 nine on the last three. And that gives you three hundred dollars. So it's got to be fifteen thousand. Oh, fifteen thousand. Okay. I can't see. We're not. We're. We hit it then. Oh, where are we are there at one fifty two. You're there on max. Okay. And you think it's painful here? Wait till you get to the homeless. I know. Well, we're going to here. Uh, remember McGrath? John Bolter's staff. You want to go back up to McGrath? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Remember McGrath? Sean, could I ask you to scroll down the last four? Thank you. Okay. Can you see that? I tried to make it bigger so you can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. <coughs> um, Member McGrath, uh, question of staff. We can zero fund, can't we? Yes. Oh, yes, Sean. We're going to have to. We're going to have to zero fund. Okay. Just, I, I wanted that clarified. Just, mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's go back yeah. to the okay. You might have it a little bit. You have a difference of $16,532 that you have to shave off to get to the 6.60. <coughs> okay, where are we at here? Where are we at? Okay, 
Okay, Devinder Pappas. We still need your room. No, we're going back up. Sean, uh, can you go up to the, to the first, there we go, uh, homelessness, sorry. Uh, I'd like to suggest that we fund West Care. I'm going to start you at the bottom this time. Fund West Care in the amount of 25000 Fund St. Jude's in the amount of 50000 United Veterans Administration, the amount of... No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Um, in the amount of... Uh, 50,000. 50, that gave us 15,000, right? That should give us... No, we're still... And then uh, Safe House, uh, deduct that from Safe House. There you go. Absolutely, but we may I, we just may not be able to fund the full well, the full first priority or the full sorry. Oh looking at okay. Yes. Operation Well it helps with your um <coughs> Oh, so we have to increase some of the, sorry, Devinder, Devinder Pappas, we have to increase some of these anyway, and we'll have to reduce from another category right. because we haven't met the minimum. Right. Uh, uh, well, we don't have to meet the minimum? No. I, yes. That's kind of really hard to walk the primrose path. You have school, you have agencies that perhaps did not score as well as other agencies getting more higher percentage higher of, percentage of their prior, first priority than other agencies. Understood. Uh, but my question hard. is, we have to give 40, at least 40 percent to this category. Anywhere from 40 to 50 percent. And we have not met the 40 percent. No. We're below the 40 percent threshold. You are. Okay. Good. So we need to increase some of these and then we'll have to decrease some of the others to get back to zero. The problem. That's a good point. And the problem is we, it's hard for us to know what that percentage is because we didn't do this, we just kind of threw a number out there. So no, my number was based on that was what you started with, but we've changed. Now those. it's changed, yeah. And I have no idea unless I do the math, what thirty three thousand so divided Sean, by thirty nine thousand is. Sean, can you divide the suggestion by the first priority for us? Oh, the other way. I'm sorry, the other way around. Yeah. It's the first priority by the by the suggestion. Sorry. I always get that backwards. No, it was that other way. It's, it's no, no. By the first part, no. By the <coughs> suggestion, not the total requested. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Um, I think that divided by the 
mm -hmm. priority. So it's 85 percent, and then you can just scroll, pull that straight down, and then populate. This one. Yeah, well. Well, we're funding St. Jude 75% of their first priority when Safe House is only getting 71% of their first priority, right? And they scored higher. So depending on again by, how much weight you want to add to the give scores. Them by 75%. So you could fund two more uh, groups, a minimum of 15,000, if you brought down St. Jude's to probably. 45 or 40, you could add two more groups at a minimum. Do it. Make the suggestion. You go, girl. You did uh, veterans, not St. Jude's. Sean? Oh. So where are we at number-wise here now, Sean? Oh. Member McGray, okay. one second. Yeah. We're, we're above the minimum. <coughs> That's where we need to be. And now we just okay, need so to kind 20, of. $20,000 from some other category. Get okay, wait. Member McGrath. Uh, Thomas McGrath, question of staff. Is this the first year, and I believe it is, that we've seen an app submitted from St. Jude's? No. Or did they submit last year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it is the first year. Okay. They scored very well their first year. <coughs> Mm -mm. Um, so, uh, Member Aslan, we should probably try to get those numbers in the right order. So maybe uh, veterans should go down to 48 and see what that percentage is. <coughs> We're either going to have to go down or go up. And uh, Whisker is going to need to go down. Whisker. 15. 15. Whisker. There are 25. Yes. Two up. West cares two up. Oh, number right one. Right there. I'll make that 20. And where are you at? Where are we at? Now we're below again. Below again. Well, then I'd like to. to uh, who's at the very top of our list here? WDC. I'm going to give 5000 back to WDC. Uh, no. 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 Let's do three at the top. Three, six, nine. Oh, we'd have to give 4000 to the top four. Let's take Catholic Charities up to 35000 Everybody's happy. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was looking at the 106%, but that's just the first priority, not what they've requested. We have to get rid of 19.5. 19.5. No. No, we're, no, we're at 143.6 for seniors. <coughs> Sean? I'd like to go back up to I would like to suggest, Demeter Pappas, I'd like to suggest that we zero fund Disorders Association, Inc., based on their score. Oh, Alzheimer's, sorry. I was going to say, which one's that? No, go to the blue column, the total. Isn't that the blue? Oh, oh that's what they've requested. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I was looking at the totally wrong thing. Oh, yeah, no. um, then I'd like to suggest we zero fund rebuilding together Southern Nevada. Why? 
change the threshold to 80. We make the threshold 80, we zero fund. We're building together. Together, 21,000 things. Yeah. Then we're at, we're still within our range, and we just got back our 20,000. Let's go up to the top and see how we are, Sean. We're in the, we, we have 1,500 to, to give back. Mm -hmm. 15,000, yes, to give back. We have 1,500 15, to give back. 1,500, sorry. So many zeros. What do you guys want to look at? Go back up and look at safe house. Sean, can you? What do we do with special needs? It was almost $152 to your max. We're inside the range. <clears throat> So we have to take away $1,500 for special needs. No, we have $1,500 more to give. Where are we at with special needs? Okay, special needs is at the max. We're exactly dead on the special needs. Special needs is at the max. What was that threshold on seniors I suggested? Uh, 80 points in the threshold. So, so why don't we give the extra $1,500 to help me end? It's still Because we'll be over the threshold. We can't do it in seniors. Oh. We need to move on to no, another seniors section. No, seniors is fine. You have, you have money to play. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. 22 for seniors. And we have $92,091 to $155,000. Yeah. So that was a good one. I like that one. What? This one? No. That was very good. That's good. <coughs> so, Sean, let's take a second to look at each one of those. Yeah, let's just look at this for a minute. the way it was. Of course, I'm sitting in front row, so. Anybody have anything on this session? Let's go on down. No, nothing. Let's go on down, Sean. Special needs all we're, we're good on, right? Correct. So we're, right. Are you showing the Sean? Within 152 of the max. You're up to the max is 155, 152, and you have $155,000 suggested so far. So we're within 152 of the max. But your total is zero, right? Our now. total is zero. 
So if you if you allocate any more, you're going to take away from something else. Yes. In another category. Amanda Pappas. Amanda Pappas, uh, I'd like to make a motion to close discussion. Second. Second. This will be a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd like to make a motion that we that we recommend to the city council that we fund women's development center in the amount of twenty five thousand dollars. Member McGrath, second. It's been moved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Governor Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to the city council we fund Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada three program components salaries for all. Member Powell, I second. Hold on, in 30, it's for the amount of $35,000. No, okay. <laughs> Member Powell, second that motion. Is it moved in second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. All right. Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion. We recommend to City Council we fund Family Promise of Las Vegas in the amount of $25,500. Member McGrath, second. Member moved in second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we fund, that we recommend to the City Council that we fund a safe house in the amount of $24,918. Member McGrath, second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to the City Council that we fund the United States Veterans Initiative in the amount of $48,000. Member McGrath, second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council we fund St. Jude's Ranch for Children, Nevada Region, in the amount of forty thousand dollars. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund West Care Nevada Inc. in the amount of twenty thousand dollars. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund the Salvation Army in the amount of fifteen thousand dollars. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund Goodwill Industries of Southern Nevada in the amount of fifteen thousand dollars. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. <coughs> All in favor? Say aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to the City Council that we zero fund Nevada Health Centers, Inc. Member McGrath, second. Well, due to, due to the fact that their score was so low and we don't have enough funds. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Senator Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we zero fund Community Services of Nevada due to their low score and the fact that we don't have enough funds. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion. We recommend to City Council that we zero fund Nevada Communities Associates, Inc. Due to the fact that we have uh, that they low scoring threshold and we have no funds. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Do I do that slate now or are we going to do it all at once? Do the master all at once. Okay. Moving on to seniors, Devinder Pappas, I make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund the Jewish Federation of Las Vegas in the amount of fifty-eight thousand dollars. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Devinder Pappas, I'd like to make a, mo I make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund three square in the amount of thirty-seven thousand dollars. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Devinder Pappas. 
I'd like to make a motion we recommend to City Council that we fund Helping Hands of Vegas Valley, Inc. in the amount of $29,100. I have one McGrath. Second. We moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to City Council that we zero fund rebuilding to together Southern Nevada due to, their low, due to their score and the fact that we have no money. Michael McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to the City Council that we zero fund Consumer Credit Counseling Service of Southern Nevada due to the low score and the fact that we don't have any money. Michael McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Mr. Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we zero fund the Alzheimer's Disease and Related Disorders Association, Inc., due to the fact that they scored low and we don't have any money. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Moving on to special needs. Mr. Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund the Blind Center of Nevada, Inc., in the amount of $47,500. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council we fund Family and Child Treatment of Southern Nevada, Inc. in the amount of $30,591. Member McGrath, second. We've been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we fund Foundation for Positively Kids, Inc. in the amount of $15,000. Michael McGrath, second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And the youth category. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion. We recommend to City Council that we fund Clark County Law Foundation in the amount of $15,000. Michael McGrath, second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion. We recommend to the City Council that we fund Spread the Word Nevada in the amount of $25,000. Member McGrath, second. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to the City Council that we fund the Variety Early Learning Center in the amount of $20,000. Member McGrath, second. Been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to the City Council that we fund the Discovery Children's Museum in the amount of $15,000. Member McGrath, second. Been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion to recommend to the City Council that we fund Southern Nevada Public Television in the amount of $20,000. Member McGrath, second. Been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to the City Council we fund Boys and Girls Club of Southern Nevada in the amount of $15,000. Member McGrath, second. Been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to the City Council that we fund the Las Vegas Natural History Museum in the amount of $15,000. Member McGrath, second. This move moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend the City Council that we fund Clark County Public Education Foundation in the amount of $15,000. Member McGrath, second. This move moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion to recommend to City Council we fund the Rainbow Dreams Educational Foundation in the amount of $15,000. Member McGrath, second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion to recommend to City Council that we zero fund Sunrise Children's Foundation due to their score and we don't have any money. Member McGrath, second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion mm -hmm. carried. Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion to recommend to City Council that we zero fund Boys Town, Nevada due to their score and the fact that we don't have any money. Member McGrath, second. Just been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Demeter Pappas, I'd like to make a motion we recommend to City Council that we zero fund Future Smiles due to their low score and that we didn't have any money. Member McGrath, second. Just been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend to City Council that we zero fund Project Real due to their score and that we don't have any money. Member McGrath, second. We move and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Divider Pappas, I'd like to make a motion that we forward the slate as presented to the City Council for their meeting on April 2nd. Member McGrath, second. We can move and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. <laughs> Just 
so you know, the uh, government just put out a bulletin that the final budget has been done with the process. Stephen Virginia is going to have a cut, but we don't know how much, so staff will so care about it. And it'll just be a straight percentage you'll take off the top of everybody. How far we're going to get more money, but we don't know how it's going to affect all of our entitlement agencies, so we can find that. And um, homeless, we went off on the campaign, we're not quite sure which pot the homeless funds are going to be affected in this pot fund. So again, any upward changes or lower changes, we need to do We definitely appreciate the time to get paid. And item number seven, citizens, citizens' participation. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the board. No subject may be acted upon by the board unless that subject is on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, give your name for the record, the amount of discussion on any single subject, as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. There's a chair right there. Hi, I'm Philip Holland with the Salvation Army. I just want to tell you all, um, this was a very, very emotional process. It's very heart-wrenching. Um, the conversation that you have is um, just unprecedented. I, I mean, to go, I visit Clark County, this is all of them, and I, just the amount of dialogue you put into this and, and your passion. Um, these are very hard decisions you made, and it's very emotional, and it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, there's just not enough funds to be able to do all of the great work that we want to do. And I just want to thank you so much for spending the time, for spending the thinking and thought process, putting so much. You, you evaluated and going through, you looked at 43 agencies. You've been doing this process since February 25th. Um, and this is every Tuesday and Thursday. The time, your dedication, your passion is... Uh, my heart goes out to you, and I know that the citizens of Las Vegas, the clients that we deal with on the streets of this, uh, uh, all around us, thank you for making the decisions that you had to make and, and that you spent the time making. And this is, this is incredible. And I just want to tell you on behalf of everyone at the Salvation Army and all of our community partners in this city, um, we thank you for your dedication for being here. We thank the staff for making this possible and being a part of this whole thing. And I just, I have to give you, I mean, I have to give thank you so much for just everything you do. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Member McCoy, I'd just like to make one statement that um, staff, you do an outstanding job in assisting us mm -hmm. in making our process a little easier. So we appreciate you all. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, we're adjourned. Thank you.